couldn't break the curse. From your store. Uncle Mung already told me about it. Thank you both for saving him. Many of the best goods are here. This container is its. Yep, yep, yep. Hang on a moment. Can we borrow a. Sure. Please help your traveler. This clay pot looks really awesome. mixing bowl, we should be able to make a great snack! It's done! The one and only sugar frosted slime! Carefully now, into the box it goes and dust it over with a bit more powdered sugar. Oh yes, you might want to use these two freshly picked flowers as decorations too. the clouds may darken and light turn to According gold. to Kuching, this is what we should say. Ah, well said. Please, use this to ascend to the chamber. Ah, uh, yes, speaking of which, are you two the guests that Lady Ningguang has arranged to meet with today? Yep. And yet the code they used was not the one for guests, but for the Yuhang. What's going on here? I've been waiting for you. Ah, it's Ningguang! Since this is our first meeting, um... Oh, for me. You have my thanks. 
It seems that I have... <laughs> oh no, it's nothing. <laughs> I'm glad you like it too. This palace floats in the skies, higher than the peak of any mountain. From this vantage point, one may survey all of Liyue. I have been gathering the funds necessary to build it from the time I began learning the merchant's craft. And since becoming the Tianjin, I have spared no effort in hiring the best craftsmen to constantly extend it. At first, it was but the size of one room. Now, one day, I believe it will overshadow all seven nations. Not many from outside Liyue are... As such, I have been putting eyes and ears out ever since you reached Liyue. What? And I finally got wind of your movements when you were on... Wait! Was Virgildet one of... <laughs> Just Virgildet? No. Everyone at Wangshu Inn is one of ours. At the Guizhang Ballista, yes? Uh, you weren't peeking on us from the skies the whole time, were you? <laughs> I fear that peeking would have been a little difficult from this altitude. Our eyes and ears are more than sufficient. You two are very interesting people, after all. It would be natural to take an interest. Well, I wouldn't expect you to trust us, considering that you have had far more interactions with the Adepti. The reason I invited you here was to clear up some misunderstandings. I believe that you've heard of the Archon War. Many gods used to walk this earth, and many long wars were fought between them that did not abate until 2,000 years ago. Much blood was shed, and many lives were lost. In the end, only seven victors remained standing in Tevat. They built cities and nations on the corpses of the vanquished, and thus began the Era of the Seven. You can see Goyun Stone Forest from here, I trust. It is no natural rock formation. Those are giant spears of rock hurled by Rex Lapis during the war. Beneath the spears lie those cast down by Rex Lapis in those days, gods that failed to seize the title of Archon. Not only is it true that gods may die, but so too has the membership of the Seven changed over the last two millennia. Rex Lapis's passing is an unimaginable disaster for Liyue, but the Order of the Seven will not collapse simply because of that. Another Lord of Geo will arise sooner or later. Yet, how are we to forget Rex Lapis? When that time comes, the relationship between the people of Liyue and the gods and Adepti will surely be different from before. Even in a new era, the Liyue Qixing remain Rex Lapis's former subjects. Do you really think us capable of having played a part in his demise? Of lacking the foresight to see the certain repercussions? <laughs> that day at Yujing Terrace, it was also very sudden. Even I was caught completely off guard. You were there, you no doubt saw. But our enemy has long lain hidden within the harbor. If we do not act against them now, they will surely gain the upper hand. 
Hiding the Exuvio was a necessary maneuver to take the initiative back. To play the spider while our foes scurry about. Who's this enemy you're talking about? What do you think, Traveler? Huh? What are you two talking about? Well answered. Uh, huh? <sighs> the scenery out here is fine indeed. But the wind is a little strong. Our preparations to receive guests within are complete. So please, this way. Be at ease, you two. Make yourselves at home if you wish. Can we really? I have invited you two here as friends. And when friends come over to play, our enjoyment comes first. Naturally. Ooh, isn't this that legendary wall? Why, you've kept your ear to the ground, I see. Because even the storytellers are talking about it. Everyone's after a piece of paper from that wall. It's super famous. That's because that wall records Leo's secrets. Merchants have always been attracted to secrets. But the secrets of the mercantile world are of no interest to you, are they, Traveler? You're rather special, really. And I think you're quite aware of that. If possible... I'd like to have your trust. But if you were to choose the more trustworthy person between myself and Kuching... <laughs> I originally thought her a bit, but after she said those words... Well, I'm... I won't deny that Rex... Indeed. It seems that you underst- I called for the gag order and for the Exuvia to be... With Rex Lapis's death, allowing the right of parting... <sighs> It's exactly as Jean Li- Wait, that's right! Of course. Vimon's heard that anyone who sends a greeting gift gets a little something in return. 
So, does that include us? <laughs> it's all right. I like direct people. Well, we have made quite a bit of trouble for you recently. How about this? You can pick any one object here as you please. And you may take it with you. Yay! Paima was just waiting for you to say that! What? <gasps> one of the sheets on that wall! Don't look at Paimon like that! One of these sheets of paper will sell for crazy prices, even if it's only as large as Paimon's fingernail! Just imagine, how much more a whole untorn sheet would sell for! Let's grab one! The biggest... Huh? Well, that was an easy search. The biggest sheet is right up there in the most obvious spot. Let's go with that one! La 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 la. Let's see what's written on it. Huh? There's a place marked with a circle on here. <gasps> oh, could it be treasure? Whatever it is, it better make us filthy rich. Let's see what's written over here. Sigil of permission, something, something, fatui, research, copy. Huh? Aw, oh, that doesn't sound like treasure at all. Oh, this piece of paper shows that a chasing spy discovered traces of classified fatui research on the sigil of permission. Oh, Ningguang did say that the Fatui have been up to all kinds of mischief in the shadows of Liyue. Spreading rumors, wanting to get their hands on the Archon's body and whatnot. But research on the Sigil of Permission? Paimon wonders what they're up to. Speaking of which, there's also some connection between you and the Sigil of Permission. Seems there's still more for us to find out. Oh, you really think so? Well, should we not go then? That it's, hmm. That's way out of Paimon's league. Paimon thinks she's been nothing but good to us. Mm, anyway, um, before we look for Zhongli at Dihua Marsh, let's go to the place marked out on these papers and...
into second life. Tiger fish! Get it while it's hot! Join the Adventurer's Guild. You'll have a... Adventure time!
leave no stone unturned. your time. Adventure time! Off we go! Gonna hurt. 
in the morning. The hunter becomes the hunted. better than I imagined. It's my lucky day. Get out of 
Even better than I imagined. It's my lucky day. Adventure time. Off we go. Adventure time. A new job. I must leave no stone Broken. unturned. Light it up! Ha! 
Freeze! Answer from this world? What's the hurry? the hurry. Coolant. Steady as 
stone. Leave it. Let's light it up. Oh. Off we go. Adventure time. Adventure time! Don't push 
your luck. Freeze! Cool it!
Shoot, I can't afford any more bandages. Get out of here. assistance. Keep an eye on you.
catch up. I'll catch up. Leave it all to me. Be gentle. Don't push your luck. Dodge this. Get out of here. That's going to hurt in the morning. Let's light it up. I'm going in. This moment will be frozen in time. Dodge this! Freeze! You're in for a little... Don't be such a brute! <laughs> I must leave no stone unturned. Time to clean up!
we go. <laughs> Another test uh, subject. That tingle. Oh. That tingle. As a dutiful maid would. Uh, that tingle? I got careless. That tingle? That tingle? That tingle? That tingle? Someone. That tingle? Take cover! Uh. Things up a little. Ah. Should replace my hammer. Fry. Fry. So, which element would you like to learn about today? Thank you for completing. Add Astra Ab. Why not keep me company for a while?
Be plenty of time for work later.
in a day's work. There really were Fatui at the location written down on this piece of paper. And uh, they look really mad at us, too. No stone unturned. Let's light it up! Stay right there. Fresh is fresh. I'm going in! Yeah. Huh. Time to clean up! Let's end this quickly! <laughs> Freeze! Cool it! Don't get frostbite! Don't push your luck! Dodge this! Cool it! You're in for a little shock. Leave it up to me. Everybody stand back! Dodge this! Oh, so sorry. Cool it! Ah! This... 
doesn't look good. A little closer. You're in for a little shot. You need a bird. Go on in! This one's well done. Out of the way! Why do they never miss? Well done. Leave it all to me. Roasted fry. This one's well done. Surrendering will be gentle. You need to hurry up. He come a little closer. Roasted fry. You're in for a little shock. You need to hurry up. Right on time. I myself only arrived moments ago. Did you enjoy your visit to the Jade Chamber? It was so big and pretty and expensive. Paimon's never seen such a fancy schmancy place before. Indeed. It's second to none in all of Liyue. Then you met with Ningguang, I trust? What did you talk about with her? She's super rich and so generous. Oh, Paimon thinks she's very friendly. Yeah, her take on Ningguang is quite different from Paimon's. She thinks that even the tactless Yu Hung is more trustworthy than her. Oh, so you also met with Kuching then? What did she have to say? She said the time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Chising don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? <laughs> no respect for the Divine. Indeed, contrary to the Everbold Kuching, Ningguang is more of a businesswoman at heart, though they are both members of the Chising. Although she's friendly, there's no way of clearly discerning her true intentions. Yes, she has only relied on herself to rise to her current position. No ordinary person could ever achieve that. It's said that she's the one behind the constant expansion of the Jade Chamber. It's the second most important thing to her. Even if she ever gave up the position of Tian Xuan, she would never give up the Jade Chamber. The Jade Chamber is only second? 
What's the most important thing to her, then? Why, Mora, of course. All Ningguang talked about was the Fatui this and the Fatui that. She said that after Rex Lapis was murdered, the Fatui have constantly been trying to sink their fingers into Liyue and that they aren't to be trusted. That is how the Fatui have always... Hmm... No matter what they may be planning, you must be careful when dealing with the Fatui. Always be on your guard. So, is there anything we need to get? Yes, as a matter of fact, there is... Glaze lilies? But what... Oh, right! Paima rem... No. Those lilies have all been gardened by people. They won't do at all. Dihua Marsh used to be full of glaze lilies. It is a sort of joyful flower that listens to human song. Before the Archon War, Dihua Marsh was all dry land and fertile soil. But the war caused landslides and the land was flooded, turning it into the marsh you see now. Nearly all the glazed lilies were wiped out. Of course, there are some kinds of flowers that have been preserved and gardened by people in the city. But very few people know that glazed lilies may still be found in the wild. Wild glazed lilies have the strongest fragrance. If we want to follow the truth, But I'll need your assistance in gathering these flowers. No, I need you... Ah! So how good is... Really? We'll only know once she stop. Adventure time! Adventure time! It's time to sing! Whenever you're ready! Da 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 da! What happened? These flowers are jumping! They look really angry! Is it because you sang a song for my stat that they don't understand here in Leland? I'm a bit rusty. Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> Come a little closer. for a little shock. Leave it up to me. Steady as stone.
such a brute. Ugh. My. This little monster is known as a Whopper Flower. Hmm. Strange. These petals look interesting. The glaze lilies used as a disguise were buried with the Whopper Flower for too long. The result seems to have surprisingly potent medicinal value. Let's collect what we can of these petals. Nice and all, but will those petals be useful for the rite of parting? Unfortunately, no. Ugh, that's so lame. Excuse me. Are you searching for glaze lilies? Oh, hey, it's... What's her face? Uh... Paimon can't remember. Hello, Traveler. I'm surprised you still remember my name. Ah, oh, that reminds me. How was your visit to the Jade Chamber? Well, it sure would have been better if you told us how to get up there. Didn't I tell you the way? Surely I did. Nope. We found the way on our own. Oh, I see. Uh-oh. I guess I really did forget to tell them. Huh. <sighs> Seems a little off about Ganyu. She's acting different from the first time we met. Where's her serious attitude now? Oh, well, I met you at that time as an emissary of the Tianquan. But now, I am simply out on a stroll to see the flowers. You came all the way out here to see the flowers? Why not just enjoy the gardens of the city? <sighs> Yujing Terrace is where Rex Lapis parted from this world. Whenever my duties take me near Yujing Terrace these days, I draw the windows to block my view of the gardens. Oh, sorry. We shouldn't have brought it up. No, it's quite all right. I just haven't processed my emotions yet. When the Archon War came to its end 2,000 years ago, the first iteration of the Seven would gather in Liyue and drink with Rex Lapis. But five of those original Seven had already passed before Rex Lapis, it's truly a changing of the guard. Yes. Now that the, the other five, including Inazuma's Raiden Shogun, are no longer the same friends from 2,000 years ago. Of the current seven Archons, the youngest is Sumeru's god of Dendro. She is merely 500 years old, whereas Rex Lapis was more than 6,000 years old at the time of his passing. This means that Liyue had been under Rex Lapis's rule from the moment it was first founded 3,700 years ago. The city has never had to bid farewell to its deity. So what do you think of this... farewell? Huh? This... This is a little sudden. I... 
as a mortal, I've never dared to imagine a Liyue without Rex Lapis. But as an Adeptus, I think I will eventually come to grips with reality. Since Rex Lapis has passed, the time of Liyue's contract with the gods and Adepti has now reached its end. Huh? Did you just say, as an Adeptus? Yes, I... I am a mix of human and Chilin. Adeptus blood flows through my veins. I fought for Rex Lapis and the city of Liyue during the Archon War. After the war ended, I signed a contract with Rex Lapis and took the position as secretary for the Chising. I've continued those duties to this very day. Well, uh, let's save that conversation for another day. You say that you are here looking for glaze lilies? I also know where wild glaze lilies can be found. See, I've just picked one myself. Here, you may have it if you wish. <laughs> we dare not refuse it. Oh, so did you sing a song before you picked the lily? Indeed, I did. I know this tradition well. In fact, I sang a local Liyue ballad to it. Wow, so you really know your stuff, too. Thanks, Ganyu. No, it is you who I should be thanking. If not for this chance meeting, I never thought that I would be able to contribute to the upcoming farewell for our ancient lord. If you would excuse me, I should return to my work now. Good luck. And that just about does it. Our preparations for the rite of parting are mostly finished. Given the ease of picking glaze lilies, I think this was a fitting... Yeah, Paimon can already imagine him starting a business in Lila. <laughs> I've had enough ventures in my life already. Beginning a new undertaking is always difficult at first, and requires no small amount of effort. And once business is at full steam, the stress of it all only wears away at you over time. So you must be careful to take the time to step back and re-examine yourself. If left unchecked, the wear and tear on your heart may go well past mending. Wow. See? Jolly sounds like he's already seen it all. Alright, I think it's about time we head back to Liyue Harbor now. Ah, you're the consultant to Wong Shung. The Millilith are watching our every desperate time. The Adepti of Joyun Karst. Do they intend to exercise? Most likely. However, both sides require. It seems inevitable. The Adepti do not acknowledge the Chi Seng. They only acknowledge the contracts of the Geo Archon. Surely the Liu and Chi Seng. <laughs> Their boneheadedness is known throughout the lands. Yet it's because of that obstinacy that mortals and Adepti are now on the verge of conflict. And what now? How is it that the Fatui have come under fire? Ah, uh, that's all Ningguang's doing. She proclaimed that in these tumultuous times, the Millilith must reign in. Only now do they want to start keeping tabs on us? <laughs> that's the Chising for you. Anyway, Mr. Zhongli, you're one of Child's close associates. Please understand that your actions will reflect on us. Don't let anyone catch you off guard. It looks like things are about to boil over in Liyue Harbor. Do you intend to use your neutral identity as an intermediary between both sides? Or will you use your... Neither path is any... Oh, by the way, Mr. Zhongli. We've heard that the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor has... Things are taking a turn. I'm afraid I must leave. Consider your next course of action care. <sighs> Having con... 
So what does Zhang Li mean by... Uh, oh, Paimon gets it. He must be waiting for the... But where could we find him now? Where would he go at a time like this? There's still a long road ahead. Let's go find some treasure! <laughs> Benny's Adventure Team, assemble! You always seem to be around to get...
Danny's adventure team assemble! Wow! This is the Golden House? It looked impressive enough from the out. This is where all of Tavat's Mora is minted, right? Oh, so it's a trap! But even if we can't, or better yet, take a nap on top of a map. Oh, right! It's quiet. Huh? Look! What happened? Uh oh. Paimon smells tr quick! We have to go make sure that. You've already fulfilled your task as guides, so why do you still linger here? Have it- Huh? Who's there? <sighs> if you were Fatui, I imagine that you would be entitled to a generous reward from the Tsaritsa herself. But now, you're nothing but dross. Hmm, where should I start? Well, I've never been one to beat around the bush, you know. If it weren't for that lovely little rite of parting ceremony you put together, <laughs> stopping them. So you've been planning to take the no- <laughs> As one of the- She will get that which she desires. <laughs> I'm not at- The time for discussion and diplomacy has already passed. I mean, if- Either way, we now come to my favorite, the battle. Battle? So you're the type that- <laughs> You- <laughs> When Senora, instead of confronting you directly, when she faces a worthy... But as for me... We won't let what happened in Monster... Oh, so you intend to fight me? Besides, you could never defeat me. Not even in your wildest dreams. <laughs> Fighting talk, I love it. Now let's see you live up to... This chance is hard to come by. So show me all you've got! So very few ever get the chance to square off with the Fatui Harbinger. So come now, amuse me, and don't you dare disappoint! How will you come get frostbite? Freeze! Teamwork is dreamwork! You've made some progress. Adventure time! Uh, take cover! <laughs> Poor time. <laughs> A fine opportunity. Cool it. Freeze! Celestial Voyager! <laughs> that was unexpected. Take cover! Adventure time! Yeah. Passable effort! Cowering already? Why do they never miss? <laughs> not bad, not bad. I guess I should Steady as take it as <laughs> Good. No wonder Senora was so wary of you. Well, that just means I can go all out. Brace yourself. This is about to get tough. Now, show me what you can do against the might of a harbinger. Some skills. Crush you. Raging tide. Prepare to be blown away. Steady as stone. Gotcha. I must leave no stone unturned. 
Dodge this! Ah! Cool it! I'm going in! Not bad. Your swordsmanship is quite impressive. But that's about as far as you'll get. <laughs> Didn't think you had that card hidden up your sleeve. You were just playing us to get close to the Exuvia! Oh, quiet down. Stop acting like some wide-eyed recruit. You've seen this world. You of all people should know. This should have been expected! Well then, I'll be taking Morax's Gnosis now! <laughs> I see. Well, this is most unexpected. You... You beat me to it, didn't you?
push your luck. Let's light it up! You're cut above. cool off. It seems the burden of the foul legacy transformation was too great for my body. I lacked the opportunity to think this through. And now that I consider the matter more carefully, you never had any chance of beating me to the Gnosis. You had no connection to the Gnosis. That's what we've been trying to tell- Your show of ability today far surpasses that- You already know the answer, but if that is a secret you- This battle has already left me satisfied. Anyone who strives as I do to grow stronger shall be pretty sure that's not the normal- Unfortunately, I must bring this ami- Given that the Gnosis wasn't taken by it. In fact, it might be that the Exuvi- What? So you mean that- Yes, it appears so. Interesting to say the least. It seems that the guardian deity of the- As such- Backup plan? I had hoped it would never come to- The truth is, the- Unfortunately, so what are you planning to do? I will awaken the god that lies do- A god? Osile, overlord of the Vort. If such an ancient god were to be unleashed upon Liu Harbor, defenseless without the- Do you think the cunning Rex- But the Archon- Simple. I've already prepared the means to awaken it. Hey, those are sigils of permission! Oh, Paimon remembers now. The Fatui have been re- Indeed. The one that was given, with the power of so many sigils of permission concentrated in one place, along with the, using the powers of ancient, but knowing that such an action will not only... Let's see. Will the nation that has lost its deity be swallowed up by an ancient malice once more? If you wish to drown together with the people of Nira, you're free to stay and enjoy the show. Huh? He's... he's already gone! That guy is fast! Uh, what's going on? Just as we... <sighs> Did we make it? What are you doing here? Huh? Hold on! It's the Adepti! What are you doing on the Jade Chamber? Paimon thought you were arguing with the chi Sing. Is the fighting over? Faced with a calamity of such magnitude, we have agreed to put our differences aside for now and unite against this common enemy. That's it. So how do you plan to defend Leela? Eh, just seeing this overlord of the Vortex guy puts a pig in Paimon's tummy. It's not just you. We've got new Millilith which is why we must stop that monster before it gets- So the Archon War was- <sighs> So will the power of the Chi Sing, Millilith, and it- We've already discussed this together, and our conclusion is... Not necessarily. What? What? All of you are supposed to be the guardians of Lele. Can't you think of something? One certainly could. Huh? The Chi Sing did once, and as fate would have it, one who... For what could you mortals ever look... <laughs> I suppose this is one blessing from the Adepti that we should be thankful for. So be it. We shall use the upgraded Guizhong Ballista to fight off that god. All the Adepti here can lend their strength to Mamet. 
We haven't a moment to spare. Our battle begins now. Yep. Tire manning the Guajon Ballista. Do not let the Fatui disturb their work. All able Millilith, with me. Let's go help too. We Adepti have not faced a god in several millennia. Let one see what you're made of then. What strength remains within you, one wishes to witness. Sile's divine power. I am very familiar with it. Be careful not to get hit. The Fatui! Their attacks are unrelenting! <sighs> How daring. Snezhnai's diplomats will answer for this afterward. Every last one. Be gone! <laughs> Let's light it up! Yeah! The ancient gods attack me again! There are so many things to eat too! We can't look! <laughs> Were you about to say we can't hold them, children? Huh? Let's light Don't lose heart! Here, take this! Energy. That light from your body, it's like your time and Julian cars! Wow, it's a matter of pain shockwave! This green is really strong! Let's light it up! Everybody stand back! Huh. Let's light it up! My work! and fight with all your might. I too did this during the Archon War. <sighs> so this is what gun is like in a fight. My name means swiftness. Take my power and run as I do. Go! 
Adventure time! Child, you are strong in body and spirit. Perhaps you can withstand three forms of adeptal energy at once. This will hurt a little. Please bear with us. Once you've adapted, try to use them in battle. ourselves fully. Jean Ballista is destroyed. Huh? Without its covering fire, retaliation shall be difficult. But the Jade Chamber is our last line of defense. We can't give another inch, no matter what. I have another idea. Uh, what do you mean, Lady Ningguang? I'll sacrifice the Jade Chamber. What is the meaning of this? I understand. Traveler. Lend me a hand. Farewell, old friend. Goodbye for now. Let us meet again in the future.
Denny's adventure team assemble! Is it finally over? The ominous aura of that monster has indeed begun to fade. The effects of the sigil of permission last but a short time. It will be some time before the Overlord of the Vortex can make any waves again. We are indebted to you for your assistance. If the Adepti hadn't happened to be here, the future of Liyua Harbor would surely have been... Save come now. There's no need for such harsh words, Cloud Retainer. I've heard that when Ningguang began learning to do business, she had already started setting aside part of her then-limited income in preparation for building the- At first, it was only the size of a small room, but with continued expansion it has become the palace that lies before you now. It is a testament to Ningguang's entire life, both as a businesswoman and as the backbone of the Liu Qixing. Seeing the Jade Chamber destroyed... Well, I was really hoping you would say that such... <laughs> Thank you all for hearing me out. Oh? 3,700 years. According to our records, the Adepti signed a contract with Rex Lapis to protect even to this very day. But that does not mean that the... Do not merely cast your protective gaze upon the... Are you questioning our means of protecting Liyue? Hmm. I mean no offense. Ha! Forebearers, you say? This morning, Rex Lapis appeared- What? In the dream? I also thought to tell him, but I dared- Oh, Ningguang! Yet another perspective. Right! That's something that ha the animal archon sought to quell the str- Each of the seven nations has its own scars from the past. Though your point is the very height of simplicity. As Adepti, we've become a laughingstock to be chastised thus by an outlander who has lent us such succor. All right, all right. Didn't Ning Wong suggest that we should- I apologize for appearing in full armor. I am afraid I cannot show the proper courtesies. And who are you? I am Feng Yan, a sergeant of the Millilith. I have come to extend my thanks to the Adepti. I thought this battle would perhaps be my last. But thanks to the aid of the Adepti, our forces were not as badly battered as I feared we might be. Although I am a mere mortal soldier, I promise to hold the line and never betray the grace given to us by the illuminated Adepti this day. Hmm. <sighs> huh? Why does everyone look so down? Didn't we just beat that big monster? <laughs> Weren't you frightened, dear? I wasn't afraid. All the strong Millilith guards were there, and those powerful heroes with their visions were there. Everyone was there. When danger is near, thanks for protecting me. Unfortunately, we... Huh? Because we are adept up. Oh. You see, this is the country of contracts. It, although their blood is the time of contracts between gods and Liyue. Hmm. Seeing the port around us now, it is hard not to feel a bit... Your line of inquiry is askew. Hmm. Seems like the... Let us return now. Eager to leave. <laughs> Yes, one understands what the Conqueror of Demons means. One fears that by the time one finally... Fair enough. Hmm. Since we Adepti have consensus, then one shall persist no further. But how will we ensure... <laughs> All right, Mooncarver, you needn't worry. <sighs> Looks like the conflict between humans... All oh, right! It's the child wanted to have, but we were able to handle the Overlord of the Vortex on our own. Oh, and speaking of that... Hyman doesn't get it, but isn't the strongest lead we have the... Adeptilus...
right of Benny's adventure team, a s-
I'll watch your back. No one's joined me on an adventure in- Oh! Ow! Where did that come from? Come on, let's go! Benny's adventure team, assemble! Oh, ow! Huh? Out of the way! That's gonna hurt in the morning! I smell rabbit.
Is there anything I can do for you two? I'm afraid that Wangsheng Funeral Parlor isn't in the best state to receive guests. We've come to see Zhang Li. Could you please tell him we're here? Unfortunately, Zhang Li isn't here at the moment. It seems he went to Northland Bank. Doesn't the Northland Bank belong to the Fatui? Last time we saw Zhang Li was before we. Do you think he doesn't know? We had better go and. You call this cooperation between Harbingers? Cooperation involves communication, you know. <laughs> Don't take it to heart, child. Besides, aren't you happy that you got to skip the formalities and bring chaos to the land? I'm sure you must have enjoyed that. Oh, it seems that some of your friends have arrived. Hey, it's Zhang Li and Child! And... You! You're also one of the Harbingers? <laughs> it's you two. I believe we've met once before. In the city of Bards, was it? I'm glad you still remember my name. Ah, right. I imagine that it must have been rather hard to forget watching helplessly as something precious was snatched away. No, don't let her get to you! You've yet to gather the powers of all seven elements, and our last battle at the Golden House was almost more than you could handle. So it might be best to keep things peaceful this time, seeing that two of the Harbingers are here. Well, if it isn't you two. This is our first time seeing each other since Liyue was nearly wiped off the map. This is certainly a bit... awkward, wouldn't you say? Paimon knew that we should never have trusted a Fatui Harbinger. Oh, now don't say that. Sure, I may have misled you, but I never had anything against you personally. Besides, I thought we were getting along quite well together, didn't you? Except for that little tussle we had at the end. <laughs> Nothing personal. We just have different views, that's all. Of course, you may very well hold this against me, but that's up to you. The real deceivers here are Senora and Zhang Li. Curse them for leading me on. So actually, I think. Stop wasting time, child. There'll be plenty of time to chat once I'm through here. You remember the agreement, Morax. Now, if you would be so kind. What in the world are you talking about? <sighs> the contract is fulfilled. That which thou seeketh is now bestowed unto thee. For my promise is solid as stone. <sighs> How sanctimonious. What? So you're the Lord of Chia? No, wait! That's an exciting twist and all, but why give the Gnosis to the Fatui? I do not give it for free. I give it as agreed upon in the contract, for it is a matter solely between the Tsaritsa and I. forces that had been bubbling behind the scenes, and then stirring them together in a pot that was bound to boil over. That's what he wanted to see, am I right? Wait, 
What? Perhaps it's best that I explain. As you know, I've dwelt upon this world for more than 6,000 years. It is now 3,700 years ago that I founded Liu together with the Adepti. Even boulders that can withstand whirlpools will erode with the passing of time. I kept convincing myself that cracks had not begun to form, and that the end of my time had not yet come. Until one drizzly day, as I was strolling along the harbor, I heard a merchant tell one of his workers, You finished your duties. Go ahead and call it a day. I stood motionless among the crowds, asking myself, Have I already finished my duties? Oh, Zhang Li. But as I began to consider relinquishing my divine role, I soon discovered that many reasons still remained to not hastily depart. Was Liyue, the city I had dwelt in for so long, already prepared to enter its next age? I decided that a test was needed in order to reveal the answer. So I feigned my own death. And gathered, indeed I was. That's right. So you mean that- Of course. And it- just as a child quit- In the end, the resolution to all that has tra- Take the Adepti, for instance. Owing to their years of credit is also due to Signora, the emissary dispatched by the Cryo Archon to fulfill our contract. This meant I could remain as Jean. All of these things turned out as I had expected them to do no more than the Adepti. They seized the opportunity to supplant Leo as divine protectors, and used the subsequent. Huh? <laughs> On the contrary, I think it is excellent. I hey, what about me? Doesn't anyone feel the least bit of remorse for deceiving me? You've practically kept me in the dark! <laughs> I think that thanks would be- If you hadn't created the pressure of a battle between- Huh? Just whose side are you on, mocking me like that? Are you itching for a fight? Be that as it may, you've come out of this as the hero of Liyue. I, on the other hand, will be forever prescribed as a disturber of the peace, no? <laughs> well then. With the Gnosis in my possession... Ah, fine. I'll meet you there. <laughs> Do as you wish. Now then, is there anything else you wish to ask me? Right! As Zhang Li always told us, a good trade is a fair trade. Paimon has no idea what could be a good trade for a Gnosis. Realistically speaking, there is no such thing. Huh? However, I am the my agreement with the Cryo Archon. As for the bargaining chip that the Tsaritsa used about, uncover that answer for you.
You know that god from the ocean couldn't have just shown up out of nowhere. I mean, it's been 2,000 years since Rex Lapis subdued it. Yes, and to think that this happened right on the heels of the incident with Rex Lapis, too. Say, do you think the person who assassinated our lord and released that evil god might have been one and the same? Now that you mention it, that's very possible. Yeah, I mean it all fi- Still what- Ah, oh, forget it. Guessing's no use to us. Look, the Millilith over there looks like he's about to make an announcement. Let's hear what- Oh, well, since we're going through with this rite of parting, I guess it means that those rumors hit the nail on the head. So Rex Lapis is really... <sighs> but they didn't catch the culprit, did they? Oh, come on. Do you think that the assassin could have been a normal person? You know what I think. I don't think any of the gossip on the streets you hear from those shady types is worth anything. There's only one real possibility in my mind. I've heard that the assassin was that Fatui fellow. Youngish, pretty high in rank. I think they called him child. The Fatui? Hmm. They certainly are very suspicious. Who knows what those greedy, crooked folks... Shh! Lower your voice. If the Fatui catch you in their sights... Hear ye all! The Chi Sing's words. Though a dragon soars ageless as the mountains, it too must return to dust. This is common knowledge. Gods and Adepti live glo- Rumors and hearsay abound on the streets that Rex Lapis was murdered. Now, let the truth be revealed. Having been thwarted in his trial, nor are they to believe street-born rumors or indulge in baseless speculation. Uh, um, that, so that something feels off. Could the chasing or hmm, exactly right? It's Ningguang and Kuching. Are they saying something? As said previously, Rex Lapis's soul returning to the heavens is the end of the contract. And it is also... 3,700 years of contracts burnt... We, the people of Liyue, belong... Now that we have awoken from our dream, we must learn to say farewell. Will you stand with us as we re-establish our contracts? As we build a new age of prosperity? So concludes the words of Her Eminence the Tianquan. Does Her Eminence the Yuhang have anything to add? Huh? Is she looking this way? Traveler. Yikes! She really is looking our way! Is that the Traveler who they say defeated the Ancient God? So young. The Liyue Qixing always repay their debts. And as you have heard, our eyes see far and our reach is long. Name your price. You deserve that much. Whoa! Wow. Could you help me put up some missing person posters? The cleanup of the If you were looking, roping you in was... Hey, 
倍勝利ジョン・ー。Visions? When faced with circumstances beyond their control. But if a person shows true strength, this is what visions. Uh huh. That's how. But starting from last year, the ride in. Vision hunting? Yes. It... They want to seize vision. I should think that in the ride in Shogun's eyes, it is. Pre... Whoa. That's. The Animo Archon is the god of freedom, and the Geo Archon is the god of contracts. For her part, The Raiden Shogun is the god of eternity. It seems as though she has finally decided to eliminate any unstable elements that could pose a threat. The fact that even I, the oldest, knowing her, she must have a gift. Seven ideals for seven gods. And of these, eternity is nearest unto the heavenly principles. All right then. Was there anything else you wished to know?
Traveler, please, over here. It has been a while since you joined the Adventurer's Guild. Are your adventures going smoothly? Hmm, is that another person? Yep! Ah, yes, let me consult our records. One. Wait! Do you mean... Does that stranger's face... Hmm? Like the honorary knights? No, they couldn't look... Seriously? That's strange. Nonetheless, after all, and should the stranger be a strong adventurer indeed, he would certainly be a big... Please don't talk down on yourself. Your deeds are the stuff of song for all the bar... Well, as he stands guard, I wish you every... Honorary knight! Is something the matter? A uh, stranger with- He was wandering- uh, I lost- As long as Master Jean is here, there's nothing to fear from some suspicious, unusual-looking person. That might be true, but if it were up to Jean, she'd take this way more seriously. <laughs> that is true. But on the other hand, knowing that Master Jean may overreact to the situation is all the more reason to not tell her, no? <sighs> Anyways, oh yeah, he was at Wagner's smithy for a while before I tried telling him. He might have said something to Wagner. You should go ask him. Maybe he has more news about our stranger. Strength still fails me. What? You need something? Here. I remember him. He showed up a few days ago asking to buy a bunch of forging materials. Can't say I've heard of any of the materials he mentioned, though. He then had a look at the weapons in my shop before leaving. I've heard that he can be found drinking at the Angel's share. 
If the Knights of the Guild want to get hold of him, that's the only place to be. <laughs> the Angel Share? Well, Master Diluc probably has his eye on that stranger too then. Anyway, let's go to the Angel Share and have a look. There's still a long road ahead. Is this an answer from this world? Answer from this world? Chest. Good for storage.
Light it up! <laughs> it's a miracle! Things useful? Chest. Good for storage.
adventure time. Uh, off we go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Reward on the road. Time. Huh? Off we go. 
Adventure time! Treasure!
I call treasure. Another target tracked down by Outrider Amber. Smell of treasure. Strange. Treasure. Strange.
get tracked down by Outrider Amber. Benny's adventure adventure time. Hey! 
I keep what This world is full of un- time.
Leave it all to me. There's no end to this. Have a taste of it. Uh, 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 
hurt in the morning. Benny's adventure team, I have failed you.
Huh? <laughs> 